So Miyako just put out her piano EP, and I'm really excited to check this out. It's Eagle Fly Free, the Halloween cover, which I had recently just watched the full band playing this song, uh, the full band arrangement. And I also saw Alan, my friend from Dakotic, just reacted to this, so I wanted to check it out so we could talk about it on Sunday during Gadget Guys. So let's check this out. This is a really beautiful arrangement. The the difference between the cascading notes that she's playing and the wide open, you know, ringing out, and then the really rhythmic da -da 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 -da, and the uh, just some really cool articulation of the notes in the arrangement, creating nice dynamics and contrast in the sound. Also, the video is really cool. Love how they're showing the hammers and the strings on the piano. Even when she put her foot on the pedal, you could see the hammers come up, uh, the sustain pedal. That's when the hammers, uh, the little felt mutes, and the hammers come up off the strings, so they ring out. And then when you take your foot off of it, they go back down, they mute it. But it's just so cool that she's doing the actual performance in the video and you can see all the inner workings of the piano there. Also, she looks beautiful. Very nice. Oh, right. You could kind of hear the the notes dancing around like it wasn't just did, 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 alternating like she was almost doing a triplet thing on the keys there Listen. right there that was so cool it's like went from let me slow that down real quick and hear that in i don't know 75 speed It's so cool that she changed it to triplets right there. Very impressive piano playing and control. And how is she this good at piano when she's also so good at guitar? It just blows my mind. Those like arpeggiated rolls she does up the piano. Just so many different um, techniques and styles that she's putting into this arrangement to keep it sounding fresh all the way throughout, even though it's all on piano. It's so amazing. <laughs>
Holy crap, dude. The amount of love and care and effort that she put into this arrangement to make it so engaging, keeping it interesting all the way throughout with all these different techniques. That middle section, like, got to a point there where I just went speechless because the stuff she was doing on the piano was mind-blowing. Like, this level of <laughs> of piano playing just in my mind should not be possible for someone who's also a virtuoso on guitar. Like, how the heck? Does this section? Right here? Tone change? It's got so much movement, so much energy and, and excitement to it. It's just a complete tone shift from what it was before. And it just kept getting more and more intense. Like, what the heck? <laughs> and bring down the dynamic again. Just the emotional depth that this arrangement has, uh, it shows you how how much power just the music has for, you know, influencing your emotions, making you feel things, even without words, you know, just in one single instrument played with passion and played with love and emotion, you know? So much grace and beauty and just, she has so much control over what she's doing. Like she's not stressed out at all. You can tell she's very loose, very relaxed and confident in what she's doing. And my gosh, that was just such a cool arrangement. It's, I, I don't know, dude, that, especially that ending doing those big octave I love it when you can hear the contrast between the low, dark notes of the piano and the upper, very bright and cheery sounding high octaves because the piano is the only instrument you can really do that with, have such a huge range, you know, 88 notes, and just really show the contrast between those low, dark notes and those high, bright notes. And I just love it when people use both ends of that at the same time. It just creates that uh, frequency EQ dynamic, you know? But, oh my gosh, I love how, how inspired it is by classical music arrangements. Especially for a song, the last version I heard was very metal. And so hearing this arrangement just breathes such a new, fresh life into it. Very cool stuff. Anyway... Thank you, Miyako, for putting all this work into this piano album, and I'm excited to hear more of it. Anyway, also, be sure to go subscribe to Miyako's 
actual personal channel, Miyako official channel. I just realized today that I wasn't subscribed to it somehow. So be sure you go follow her over there to keep up with more of her stuff. She apparently posts quite a bit over there, so check that out. Anyway, that's where I'm going to wrap this up. Link is below in the description if you want to go check this out. And thank you for watching. I'll talk to you next time.